Hi darlings, welcome back! As I mentioned in the previous few videos, after 3 or 4 years of playing solely on mobile, now I'm exclusively a PC player in IDV. So um, in this video I would like to share my experience with you guys, but I found strange, weird or how I got used to it, how I'm getting used to it, because yes I'm still in the process. But regardless, yeah. So first thing I really want to mention is if you are in a situation where you're trying to kind of like decide or, you know, thinking about maybe changing to PC because you're a mobile player and you maybe have a better PC that you could um, play IDV on but you're afraid, um, here are some things that I was previously afraid of and why I didn't make this change sooner. So one was um, basically the lack of players. It was like... PC was notorious of having like, you know, we had to wait like 20, 30 minutes for a single match because PC players were so limited, but recently, or maybe it wasn't even recently, like, sorry, I do not know. But the point is, Net is made it available for all platforms to match like together, so really I think um, PC matching takes just the same time as mobile matching takes um, like I didn't have a problem with it so far and I would say I played a bit over 20 or 30 matches um, so yeah I did not really have any problems with it if anything I found it a little faster maybe um, but yeah I would say it's just the same as I remember having on mobile so yeah waiting times you don't have to be afraid of uh, having it different Another thing people I think are afraid of is your account. Um, I had this account ever since I started and to transfer it to PC it like took a minute basically. Um, once you downloaded IDV on your on your computer you will um, have a little login button, a little QR code and you can easily scan the QR code with your phone and your account will be locked in. You can also log in with your Facebook account, your um, I don't even know what options there are, but yeah, the same account, like, you know, transfer is working as on mobile, so don't worry about losing your account or being unable to use your account, because um, your account can be used on both devices, um, and, you know, you won't lose um, the availability on your mobile either, so yeah. The last thing I would say um, that people would be afraid of are the controls, and that one was... The one I think I was afraid of because um, I had like no, I don't know, like inspiration whatsoever to relearn how to play um, Joseph again on another platform in another way because you know once you learn a character you just don't really wanna like necessarily start over again and you know with this like new controls I was like I was afraid because on mobile you can do anything with your fingers um, on the screen so basically that's how you like control the whole game every button but on pc obviously you will have to learn little buttons and and everything has a different button and sometimes it can be confusing it can be a lot so of course most people um as i was a little intimidated by that but as you can see on the screen right now i i purposefully recorded the match as i went so you guys could see the buttons and how the whole interface looks like so yeah basically as you can see it kind of says everything so i feel like after a few matches even if it's custom mode because it will show you the same stuff um written there you will get used to it used to the buttons and even now as i said i played like about 15 20 matches with jojo i like that might be much too much that i'm saying but whatever point is i did play a few matches and i'm already kind of okay with the with the buttons as you can see like i'm not completely clueless about them thankfully so i wouldn't say it was it's it's that like hard that big of a change like i feel like you can get used to it kind of easily um something that was a bit tricky for me was um like the first game that i really like played and it, it was most recent on pc was genshin and and of course it's kind of similar in terms of that you have a character and you have to like kind of walk around and go around with them and, and you have to use your skills also in that game as like in this game and of course those didn't match up so um i called myself you know trying to use the genshin buttons i was used to in idv to use my 
skill or something um, so yeah that obviously isn't the same so if there's any computer game that you are playing and um, you know the controls are different it might be a little confusing at first when you're like pressing the button for I don't know your first skill and nothing happens um, but yeah that's the only thing I'm actually Quietly, I mean, pleasantly surprised by how easily I could adapt to the to the PC, um, like game style, game mode, whatever. I, I'm like obviously I'm not like I didn't master everything yet, and of course there must be, but there are times when you know I'm like have to look at the little button under the the signs, like what what do I have to press to do this. But overall, I would say if you're thinking about changing to PC or also playing on PC, I would say just give it a try. Um, it's really not that difficult. You can you can make it work, especially if you think your um, computer's graphics uh, could be better or the Wi-Fi connection would be more stable, especially if you have the internet plugged into an actual PC, not a laptop, because I'm playing on a gaming laptop. Um, so of course that also goes from Wi-Fi, just like the mobile. But yeah, overall, as you can see on the screen, every button is showed, every skill um, is showed there or shown there. So you don't have to be afraid. And yeah, I hope um, this video could help a few of you guys at least, give you a little confidence. And yeah, good luck with it if you decide to start. And yeah, see you in the next one. Please do leave a comment to help the channel. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.